Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Michael Cosman, and we're going to talk about, speaking of morning, what is your morning routine? I'm going to be a little transparent and talk about how I, how I reset, refresh, re-energize, and renew daily. So don't go away. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for uh, tuning in today and in my YouTube channel that's been going on for numerous months. And if you've been with me, I, you know how much I love to give valuable content, both real estate wise and biblical scriptural content. So if you like what you see, please click the subscribe button below and uh, share with others. So today we're gonna go off topic a little bit and we're going to talk about I'm going to be a little transparent like I mentioned in the intro how do I reset renew re-energize and renew daily refresh because we're halfway through the year and I'm not sure if you're like me but you set up at the beginning of the year some new year resolutions or goals oh my gosh how many of you were able to hit those I've hit some of mine I'm on track with some, off track with others, but as the year goes on, you look at them and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to do that. And sometimes we get weary in our job and our life. So what do I, what do, I do to stay uh, fresh and looking forward to every day? I'm going to go through a little bit of my, my routine. So this is just what I do, is, you know, there's some guidelines that help me and my life and so just some helpful encouraging suggestions for you as well so and you might have heard this before it might not be news to you but it might just be a friendly reminder so i think it starts with the night before obviously rest is so important i'm guilty of it where you feel sluggish if you stayed up too late and the older you get the more you need that sleep not that you didn't need it when you're younger but it, you feel it more as you get older so at least six to seven hours. I don't know how my wife does it on four or five sometimes, but maybe you're made up like her. But for me, I need six to seven hours of sleep. And fortunately, I'm a pretty sound sleeper. But it starts the night before uh, to get a good night's rest. And that's so critical. So then you're, you're up in the morning. And for me, I start every day with some thankfulness. I thank God every day for the breath of my lungs. I go through a number of things that I'm thankful for and just start off with an attitude of gratitude in the morning. When you start off with that, you know, that's the first thing to get off on the right foot. Just start thanking because we are so incredibly blessed. So thanking God every day for His goodness and His mercy. So after that, I get up I start drinking water. I think it's important to drink water. I don't always drink it. Um, I had a bout of kidney stones earlier in the year. It's my second time in my life. It's no fun. My wife reminds me you need to drink water and the more water, preferably with some lemon if you, if you can enjoy it or tolerate it, but drink plenty of water. Start up your day drinking at least eight ounces of water and try and get eight, eight glasses of eight ounces of water at least. So drinking water, part of my morning routine, and then, and then I find a quiet place, a quiet time with God to just um, be alone with him and try and uh, focus on him. Sometimes I have to distance myself from my wife and my dogs. Sometimes I don't. It all depends. So uh, I try and spend at least a half an hour if I can. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm just talking to God. Sometimes I'm just quiet and I'm just meditating. So um, sometimes music helps. Sometimes, sometimes I just like the silence. So anyway, that quiet time early in the morning um, is so important. So, and then after that, I like to get moving. Sometimes grab some quick bite to eat or in, in the shower. And then I, I try and go for a walk. We try and get 10,000 steps in a day, which is I think about three or, three or four miles. But if I start off with a good walk and before I begin my day, it gets that heart rate going. I was working out at the gym, which is also another good thing if you can do it and I might get back to the gym. But right now, I, uh, it, walking is a good exercise. So, and then by that time, I'm ready to start my business. And I start hitting the phones and trying to connect with clients, both past and future clients. And so that usually takes about, you know, two hours or three hours, and I try and set my appointments up. 
So after that, um, well, throughout the morning, um, I try and take some snacks and five minute breaks. So that usually takes me close to noon and then I'm in time for lunch. But that's generally a quick overview of my morning routine. And it usually allows me to just recharge, re-energize, re reset and, and renew um, both m body, mind and soul daily. So, um, and my guide, my example, my mentor is Jesus. So what does it say in God's word? Jesus in Mark 135. And in the morning, rising up a great while before the day began. So before the sun, you know, probably dusk or even before, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there he prayed. And so if that's Jesus' model, you know, maybe you're not a morning person, uh, maybe you need to be a morning person, but um, uh, I think that's a good model for us all. So anyway, hopefully I was bare my soul a little bit. You enjoyed uh, a little of the transparency of what my morning routine looks like. And uh, please, hey, send some comments. Let me know what your morning routine is like. I'd love to hear from you on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like that, if you like everything you get every Friday, please um, like, subscribe. This is Michael Cosman with Keller Williams, a realtor who truly cares. We'll see you next week.